All right, guys. Right out of work, right into the water. Figured we come out for a quick morning kayak. See what the bite's like since the, wa the water out here is really, really low, guys. I mean, really low. I don't know if y'all can tell, like, the water was under that log right there. That's where the water level used to be. At. I'm pretty sure y'all can tell by the bank and everything. I'm not going to be out here long. Um, I'm pretty sure as most of y'all are up to date, uh, we got a second wave of the virus and all that stuff. So now we got to set appointments to get a haircut. And I got an appointment today around lunchtime. So uh, I'm not going to be out here long. Just came out real quick. Throwing around a Cinco. Uh, not a Cinco, a Dinger by Yum. Throwing the Smoke Pearl. And uh, see if we can get any bites off of it. They closed down the rivers and all that stuff here in my county again, so uh, I ducked off under a bridge. Oh, yep, first bite. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Feisty little guy. Trying to take me towards the tree. Been a nice minute since I caught a good-sized fish, guys. This has to be at least a two-pounder. Nice little chunky guy. I don't know if y'all can see, but he has a craw down his throat. See the little antenna sticking out. Um, I don't have my scale. I left it in my brother's car and he tried to use it the other day and I guess the batteries are dead on it, but yeah. Let's see, we can get a measurement on this guy. When I set this, when I put this little measuring tape on my kayak, I wasn't, I didn't think about uh, the damage it would take whenever I put it on top of my car. So the it starts off at, f at three, so we're just gonna measure it from the 10. And 14 and a quarter. From 10 to 24 and a quarter, guys. This this is a, a good little two pounder. But yeah. First one of the day. Now, I don't know about you guys. I don't know the way y'all think. Me, I guess it's just past experiences and all that stuff but getting a good sized fish on the first couple casts of the morning to me it might spell it might spell bad luck so uh let's get him let's get him back in the water let's keep fishing see if we get any more bites talking with my cousins last night you know and they said to switch it up a little bit because i was letting them know it's been a while since i got a good little catch you know so uh you know they're telling me you know switch up my Switch up what I'm throwing around, switch up my uh, presentation a little bit. You know, as y'all know, I throw around mostly, mostly Cinco's. So, um, you know, they told me to throw around some all white flukes, some curly tail worms and all that stuff. So uh, I figured I'd give this one a try. I mean, it's not all white and it's not a fluke. It's a Cinco, but it does have a white belly. So I figured I'd throw it around for a little bit, see what we get. Fish the back side of this cover real quick before we pedal down. The winner for the giveaway, it, he will be, or that person will be uh, picked out in today's video. So yeah, y'all just uh, stay tuned for that. I just got a real hard tug right now, but I think it was a blue guy. Yeah, y'all stay tuned for that. Um... Me and Monica are going to choose the winner of the giveaway later on today. And yeah, if, you, if you're really close, you know, if you live here in Crystal or in one of the surrounding cities, you know what I mean, or in a, in a reasonable distance, um, I'll go and I'll drop it off myself to you guys. And, you know, if you happen to be one of the few people that are subscribed that live a little bit farther away, I'll ship it out to you guys, you know, free of cost. I'll pay shipping and everything. But yeah, we'll worry about that whenever the winner gets chosen. A little bit more down river, guys. Getting bites. Might be the bluegill again. Yeah, pretty sure it's bluegill. Oh no, it was a bass. Little bass. <laughs> little acrobatic bass. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Nice little guy, little 10 incher, little half a pounder. 
getting a bite guys but I'm wrapped around a log oh <laughs> guess it was a bluegill <laughs> either that or you let it go Another little bass. Another nice little bass. Man, they splash out so much water. Come up, come up. Where are you going? Stop trying to take me into the trees, guy. Ah. I know a lot of people have been telling me to get a net, but honestly, man, you don't need a net. Oh, it's not that small. It's a good little guy. Good size, right on the roof of the mouth. Come on, there you go. Good size little guy. Got another little pound and a half here, nice little 14 incher. Ooh, beautiful colors on him. I don't know if y'all can see that flash, that green on top. Beautiful colors, guy. Get you back in. Oh, you know what? I got a Snapchat group with my cousins. Let's get a picture with this guy. Boom. Back in the water. You could reach the spot through a boat. It might take you a little while. Um, but not a lot of people. A lot of people, when they do come back here in boats, they don't come this far back, you know, so... It's not as pressured as the rest of the nurses' rivers, especially right now how they closed down all the rivers in Crystal City again. Dimmick County, you know, Carrizo, they still got all their rivers and boat ramps open. Man, guys, the other morning I went and stopped out there for a couple casts. There was 13 trucks. There was 13 boats out there, guys. 13 trucks and trailers out there, man. And from what I know, they weren't hosting a tournament that day, so... Pretty freaking pressured out there at the Bowington right now. Getting some bites. Oh, I guess it was just a stick. <laughs> One thing I have been wanting to do is throw around some ribbon tail worms. And uh, now my daughter got into the taco box that I had at home with a lot of the lures that I didn't use on a regular basis that I would go through every now and then. And she she tore apart a lot of my ribbon tails, but I did find this one in my car. You know, a big old worm. This is a, co a culprit, a culprit flat max. It's a nine inch ribbon tail worm. So, um, and I got it rigged up on the loose, on the mock crush. And uh, I mean, these, these guys, these are old. Like I said, I found them in the back of my car. So they've been in the heat for who knows how long. And uh, they do got a little bit of scent left on them, but not that much. So what we're gonna use is this uh, dipping glow, chartreuse, garlic dye. We're just gonna dip that. We're just gonna dip that ribbon tail in there. Let's see if we can get some. It's a little bit of extra scent. Just a couple quick dips. Put some more. Come on, put some more. Don't be shy. Put some more. Put some more. Come on, put some more. Don't be shy. Put some more. Put some more. That's enough. It's a little bit more than what I wanted to dip in, but it'll do. I mean, like I said, this is a big old nine inch worm. And I, I'm throwing it on a, I'm using a five out hook for it. I mean, honestly guys, this is the biggest worm I've ever thrown, you know, so I'm not too sure what's the good, what's the good uh, hook for it. Like I said, I'm throwing it on a, on a five out hook. And it, I mean, it, it looks pretty good. I mean, maybe a six out, but the five out's the biggest one I have. So uh, let's give this a couple casts and let's see if we can get any luck with it, guys. Now I am fishing it weighted, so uh, 
I will throw it kind of close to the bank, but not too close. That way I can fish a little bit deeper. A couple quick pops. Let it sink. Oh, got one. Got one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's not a big one, guys, but damn, this little bass ate this big ass worm. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's a nice one. I mean, it's not super nice, but it's nice to me, man. Let me, gotta take a couple pictures, guys. I'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, guys. Got a couple pictures taken already, so let's get him back in the water. Back he goes. Let's get this worm rig back up and see if we can get another one. All right, guys. And, I mean, that was barely the first cast with that worm ever. <laughs> To think those those ribbon tail worms have just been sitting in the back of my car for who knows how long, guys. Who knows how long. But yeah, guys, all I'm doing with them is I'm casting them out, you know, towards the middle or towards a little bit closer to the bank, but not on the bank directly. And uh, I'm letting it sink. A couple quick pops and then letting it sink. That's all I'm doing. Up. Big heavy worm sending it straight into the tree. Got another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is not super big either, guys, but they're nice fish. God damn. What was I waiting so long to try this for? Been messing around with JD specials where I could have been throwing around this ribbon tail. Oh, chubby, chubby guy. Look at the stomach on this guy, guys. Look at the stomach on him. Look at the stomach on this guy. Gotta get some pictures of this one also, man. Alright, guys. Got a couple pictures of this, of this freaking, I mean... He may not be no 10 pounder, but he sure is a freaking hog, guys. Look at this guy. Get him back in the water. Boom, straight down again. So that's how he got in, guys. He just climbed down there and then he just like wiggled his way in there because that's how he just came out right now. All right, guys, I'll leave you alone. It's time for me to go anyways. Have a good rest of your day. It's time to choose the winner of the giveaway. I got the box right here. I put a sticker of the YouTube channel on there. And everything's here. We got all the names of everybody that commented and liked on the video. We have them set up on a, on a, on a roulette wheel app. So we're gonna shuffle it twice. Or we'll shuffle it three times. One, two, three. All right guys, I'm just gonna help me spin the wheel. We're gonna spin the wheel and whoever wins, Wins the box. Go spin it. Spin it hard. There you go. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Julissa Talamantes. <laughs> Julissa Talamantes, she's the winner of the giveaway. Here, go play with it. Go play with it over there. Go over there. Um, on the very top of the description, I'm going to link my Instagram. I'm going to need you to DM me. That way we can get your location figured out and all that stuff and we'll go from there about getting you the tackle box thanks for playing everyone i appreciate all the love it's